Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making over a basket that I've stored forever and I'm going to make it over using decoupage paper, paint, gel stain, and I'll be using Wiseau's one hour enamel clear coat in matte as a sealer. The first thing I did was to spray paint my basket white. I wanted to make sure that my decoupage paper was going to show up as well as possible. I cut my decoupage paper into two strips, basically in half, and now I'm going to cut strips with a wet cut method. I'm using an artist brush and water to just give torn edges on all sides of every strip that I cut. I'm doing this because um, I'm working on a textured woven surface. I cannot wrap an entire piece of paper around something like that and have it come out smoothly. So I'm cutting these strips and those edges are going to make sure that my seams are almost invisible when I apply them to the basket. So we're just going to keep doing that and I will make sure I've got both sides. Here I'm stirring my one hour enamel clear coat and now I'm going to take my strips and I'm going to just kind of position them without um, applying my medium first just to get an idea where I want that first strip to be and you can see here that you can kind of line up that script and you just work with it until you like the positioning and now that I've decided which is going to be my first strip I'm going to take an artist brush and I'm going to actually I'm going to take my angled brush it doesn't hold a lot of paint. This is the one and a half inch micro angled brush by Wiseau. I'm applying my medium both vertically and horizontally um, just to make sure that the medium is on all parts of the basket as I'm laying my paper down. I'm going to be using a piece of rolled up, balled up plastic wrap to apply my strips to my basket. I do this because I can apply gentle pressure and then the paper just kind of molds to the weave and the reeds of the basket, making it almost look as if they've been there forever or if that basket was just, those reeds were painted um, with the design of the paper. So I really like that. And I'm gonna work in small sections. Um, I'm just gonna keep going down until, you know, I've got it all applied. And again, you want to be very gentle at this step, just like that. But see how that, that basket, that paper is just woven to the basket. I really love that effect. And um, I find that plastic wrap is really the best way to get this look. I'm going to go ahead and smooth it down just a little bit more and then I'm going to, I'm just kind of holding it taut at the bottom so it doesn't bunch up as I'm applying my medium. And we're almost done with this section. I thought it was important to go a little more slowly here so that you could see this process and just get a feel for how that's done. Again, you want to be very gentle with your plastic wrap and your paper at this point. But if you do have a tear, it's not a problem. We can easily, um, you know, wet cut a tiny patch and put that in place if it ever becomes necessary. Here you can see I've got a little bit of a tear. I don't mind that that paint is showing through a little bit. Um, and right now, my biggest concern is making sure that that first strip is completely secured. So make sure that you double check your edges and get a great start to your project when you're doing this. I'll push that in place, tucking under a little bit. And now our first strip is in place and I'm ready to continue applying these strips.
Now I'm using an X-Acto knife just to remove the excess paper from the base of the basket. And then I will just one more time make sure that all of my edges are, you know, secure in place with the decoupage medium. Now I'm going to seal my basket with the one hour enamel clear coat. And I'm doing this to prep it for the stain that we're going to be applying in another step. I'll let that dry completely. I'm doing a little patch here for a tear. Again, just wet cutting a small piece and um, taking care of that area that didn't have paper on it. And now I'm applying a coat of Wise Owl's uh, One Hour Enamel Paint in the color Leatherwood. This is paint is great for this type of project because it already has the sealer built in. And so the, m the biggest thing you wanna watch out for are drips. So I'm painting the bottom of my basket and the stand and the leather handle. Now it's time to apply the stain. I'm doing this to blend the paper as well as to give it even more aging. And I'm going over the entire basket. I'm using just a lint-free rag. Make sure you wear your gloves when you're working with this. I'm working in a circular motion, um, really not taking breaks. I'm just gonna do this all in one step. Um, and I'm going to apply the stain everywhere. I'm going to let that completely dry. And then I will put a final coat of uh, a sealer on it and then we have transformed our basket. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would um, very much appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post a new project every week. Thank you so much.